This is the site of a temple dedicated to the Hindu deity Ram in India's northern city of Ayodhya. The 240 million US dollar temple is set to be unveiled on January 22nd. Over 4,000 workers have been rushing to complete the first phase of construction in time for the opening ceremony. The Ayodhya temple is a focal point for the country's millions of Hindu faithful. It's being built on a sprawling 28-hectare complex of carved pink sandstone and white marble. The main temple itself covers 1.1 hectares. Each pillar has got about 16 idols, which are to be carved by the craftsmen here. This is a time-taking process, and we expect that this will be over by about end of 2025. But for over a century, this religious site has been a flashpoint for sectarian violence. Hindus and Muslims have clashed over which faith can claim the origin story of the Ayodhya site. In 1992, the dispute triggered nationwide riots that killed around 2,000 mostly Muslims, culminating in the raising of the 16th century Babri Mosque. For over three decades, India's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, or BJP, made rebuilding the Ayodhya temple the centerpiece of its election campaign pledges. In 2019, India's Supreme Court handed the BJP a major victory when it ordered that a Hindu temple be built on the site, ending years of litigation. Sri Ram ka mandir, hamari sanskriti ka adhunik pratidik pratidik banega. और मैं जान बुझ करके आधुनिक शब्द का प्रयोग कर रहा हमारी शाश्वत आस्था का प्रतीक बनेगा हमारी राष्ट्रीय भावना का प्रतीक बनेगा और यह मंदिर करोड़ों करोड़ लोगों की सामूहिक संकल्प शक्ति का भी प्रतीक बनेगा there's a certain amount of falsification of Indian history which has happened consistently through this temple agitation in the last uh, 40 years. Journalist Nilanjan Mukhopadhyay has been following the Hindu nationalism movement in India. This is actually a sense which is fanned up by the BJP and the RSS that you have been able to take revenge and you know balance out the humiliation which was heaped on Indians, on the Hindus, in the medieval years by the uh, you know, Muslims who were rulers at that time. Modi's critics have accused him of stoking religious sentiment to further his political ambition ahead of the April general elections that he's widely predicted to win. The message which is being sent by opening the temple on the 22nd of January is that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the one person who has actually virtually single-handedly been able to give back to the Hindus the temple at a very important, religiously a very important site. He's the one who has actually restored Hindu honor and dignity. And as a consequence of that, he should be given another mandate to rule India for the next five years. Less than a month before the temple opening, Modi embarked on a road trip to Ayodhya to inaugurate a new airport, road and rail service. Once a sleepy temple town, Ayodhya has been given a six billion US dollar facelift complete with new infrastructure. Modi supporters have hailed the temple's impending opening as proof of the Prime Minister's commitment to defending the Hindu faith. The temple reopening is fueling expectations of an economic boom in Ayodhya. Public public और राम राज तो लौटी आया है अब कहने का मतलब है खुशी तो है ये जो ध्यावासियों को बिजनेस तो जरूर बढ़ेगा मैं संख्या बढ़ेगी दर्शनलु आएंगे यात्री आएंगे और भगवान का हम मंदिर बन रहा है रामलला का 
इससे लग रहा है देश विदेश पर्यटन के भी विदेशी पर्यटन भी अयोध्या में आने की संभावना बहुत अधिक है City officials anticipate four and a half million tourists a month, which is more than the town's entire three and a half million population. But not everyone expects to benefit. The Muslim community is not a part of it. If there is a hotel here, if there is a Muslim community, then it will not be open. There is definitely a certain burden, a certain distrust of Muslims toward Muslims from the majority community driven by the BJP. And that is what actually uh, weighs them down. Very recently, I interviewed a very senior Muslim journalist as to how Muslims are feeling at that point, and he said, you know, that it is no longer very easy to be a Muslim in Narendra Modi's India. The temple inauguration also risks reopening old wounds. हमारे हिंदू भाई के लिए तो अच्छा दिन है, लेकिन हम लोग के लिए क्या जो है? वैसे ही है भाई. पुरानी बात जब हम लोग बर्बादे हुए जो है तो तकलीफ तो होता ही है उस दिन हमारे वालिद साहब भी मारे गए मस्जिद भी हमारी डाई गई ठीक है कम से कम एक बहुत बड़े मसले का हल हो गया और अब इसमें अमन का पैगाम देना कि अब दोबारा इस देश में किसी तरह से हिंदू मुस्लिम में जो दूरियां थी वो दूरियाँ ख़त्म हो आपसी भाईचारा प्यार मोहब्बत बना करके रखें क्योंकि इसी की वजह से अच्छी खासी दूरियाँ बन चुकी थी इस वजह से हम लोगों ने इस फैसले को एक्सेप्ट किया और कहा कि ठीक है फैसला खत्म हुआ एक कब एक घाव था उसमें मरहम लग के खत्म हो